gets uh, right into the field. Uh, what about playing? I have an arm control here. I have on my knees. Sometimes you'll transition to the broken scar fold um, with different grips. The car is very good at putting me back in the car. So I'm in this position and he's shrimping and getting on this side. He's possibly putting me back in the car. This is possibly then when you want to transition to the broken scar. Because obviously my knee wasn't good enough or it wasn't close enough to stop him from shrimping out. So I'll fill that space with my hip. So from head and arm control, if I feel he's constantly putting me back in the guard, I keep the underhook and my left hand finds the elbow and then I'm going to sit through in the micro scarf scarf position here. So last time when we were escaping it I had head and arm. It's kind of like halfway house. So I'm here and I'm here. So I've got um, elbow control. So again I have to be aware of there's an elbow pluck arm bar there. So if the guy keeps control of the elbow and steps over his head with the foot Make sure he gets his heel beside the ear, knee pinching, bring back, there's an arm bar there, so you have, to, you have to be very careful when you're in that position and you're not getting caught on straight away. So switch positions, so from head and arm, he's on his knees, he sits through the broken scarf and he has control of this elbow. So straight away I'm thinking about that arm lock. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my hand so I can see the palm of my hand. Because Carl has control of my elbow. When I turn my hand, I'm bringing my elbow back the other way. Which gives me a few seconds. Okay. I'm gonna bring my elbow as close to my body as I can. And then I do a couple of bumps to get it close. So it's in the same position it was in the last move. Okay. Now, depends on where his head is. If his head's there, I grab the gi. If there's no gi, I put my hand on his ear. The thing is, I just stiff arm this, so I want to make a structure with my left arm. So all I do is this. Now, my hips are stopping car from falling to the mat. So now I just shrimp, my basic shrimp, and move my hips back. From head on arm, sit through the broken scarf. First thing is, I don't want that elbow block. So I turn my hand. So I can see the palm of my hand. I bring my elbow as close to my body as I can, and then I do several shrimp bumps. Get my hand in that position. So kind of similar to the last move. If there's space here and he hasn't controlled this, we'll do that in a minute. I grab the gi, cut the R, my hand is here. But the detail is I straighten my arm, I make a stiff arm, and I lock this totally straight. Yeah. We'll stop on car from putting his back at the mat as my hips. So now I just shrimp. Escape my hips, I'm still pushing with my hand. Sometimes what happens is when I switch to broken scarf, either my hand is down here so Carl can push in that position, or what he calls this bikini on bottom position here. You can work that one out if you want. But if I attack this um, elbow plug from here, which is possible, sometimes people will panic. Bring this arm around, or do you have to be careful from that broken scarf hold of where this hand is, whether it's here, whether the head's here, or whether they're there. But if they are in that position, if his head is, if I can't get to it, by I can't make that frame, I just do the first escape. So when you look at the palm of my hand, bring my elbow as close to my body as I can and bump several times. I'm in my position again. If I can't bring my hand in the collar to do that escape, I drop my knee, one bump, I get him on my hip, and then I escape my hip. I'm back to that front the road. Or, one broken scarf. This time he's got his head low. So we still can't get the grip in the collar. So I do the same thing. I do the palm of my hand, elbow to my body, put the bump, skin my hand in position, drop my hip, one bump, get him on my hip, and make this escape. Just finish with the last move, which was the escape. Sometimes more than often when people sit, we scarf hold, 
people sometimes keep their head okay, in this position. But if they, if they do, okay, people are making frames like this, and they card and switch to that hand position and get his hand in the way, which is fine. But if there's space, I turn my hand, elbow as close to my body as I can, a couple of bumps to get it tucked in, and if there's space here, I just make the grip. The detail is I'll not escape. I push it till my arm is straight. I just do this, stopping car falling as my hips. So now I just shrimp, I 